Welcome to our channel. I'm T. I'm in. the W. Welcome to T and W Automotive. Hey guys, welcome back to another banger video. You ain't heard that in a long time, have you? <laughs> I thought I'd throw it in there. But all right, this is the W today. And I want to tell y'all guys, give T a shout out. She's doing a great job. You know that? She's doing a great job. But you know, you know why T doing a great job? We never see her. I'm sorry, T. <laughs> I'm just playing with her. <laughs> she don't mean nothing about it. Today we're working on a 2007. It's actually a big box truck, big guy. I know you never see the W work on something that big, but that's what I'm working on today. Uh, it's got that mighty V8 in it. Um, what we're doing today is we're actually installing a dry belt on there. Um, actually waiting for the dry belt to come back. But when you install a dry belt on something like this, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, you gotta get a step ladder of some sort that folds and you're gonna have to put it in between the bumper and the tire. Cause this, this vehicle is very tall. So you're gonna have to step over like so. And you gotta get up in there. Okay, I already removed the belt. All right, remove the belt. Then you gotta take this long bar right here. This is a belt tensioner tool. You can buy them at any parts store, Harbor Freight, uh, any parts store that sells tools should have one. You can go probably go to Home Depot, places like that, Lowe's, they should have it or even get it online. You're gonna need it. So you can elevate this thing called a belt tensioner. It moves like so. You put it in that little groove. That's a three eighths little hole that you stick it in there and you're able to elevate it going towards the motor and that, that'll take the tension off. And when you release it back, it goes back towards you for the tension to be back on the belt. But um, I'm up here demonstrating that. Also today, we also put in some spark plugs. These plugs need to be changed. The ones they had in there is they had uh, some auto lights. Now, usually when you do a tune up on something like this, on any GM truck or whatever, they got wires on there. The wire's been changed before, so we didn't even change the wires this time. We just reinstalled them. You know, you got those little heater boots on there, the little heater, the little sewer guys right there. Those little heater uh, insulators to keep the heat off of the, the wire to keep it from melting. You take a pair of pliers, something, pull on it and wiggle it and it'll come right out. Um, the tool you're gonna use for that is a 5 8 3 8 socket with a little ratchet on there and a little swivel. And uh, this one's got a magnet and you're gonna need it for that. And the plugs we installed today were some NGK brands. These are Meridian. They're gonna last a little bit longer. Um, I think they had these uh, double platinums in there. That's what they put in there from the auto lights. Nowadays, they make all kinds of spot plugs to fit your car. I mean, it's up to you what you wanna spend. But hey, the belt that you need to go back on this car, cause this one's old and it's shriveling up. The part number is right there on the belt. That's how you make sure you get the right belt. Cause whatever came off the car, it's probably gonna be the right one to go back on there. And plus you can measure it like, you, you know, spread it out. I'm gonna lay this on the ground for you. You can spread it like a snake and then just lay it on top of each other. And that's how you know you got the right belt as well. Part number and stretch it out method will work the way you can get the right belt. Believe it or not, they gave us some belts from AutoZone and I don't know what happened with that, but the customer went to go get the belts and believe it or not, they gave them their own belts because we took these out of the packaging and measured. One of them was too long, one of them was too short. But they're going back to the store now to get us the right belt, and they went by that part number. But hey, I am the W. We're, we're working 20, 20 hours today, a day around the clock for you. And we always think about this TNW family and this channel to make sure everything's working great. Until then, stay strong, keep it rolling. You know what time it is. <laughs>